And we have the 5 p.m. update from the National Hurricane Center here. This storm has gone through some cycles. Uh, yesterday afternoon, it was the strongest at 180 miles per hour, Category 5, and the fifth most intense storm in the Atlantic Basin. Now, it did weaken a little bit down to Category 4 earlier this morning, but has cycled back up. It is now Category 5 once again. You can see that really tight spiral right there, the center of that eye. You can see right through the storm to the surface of the Gulf of Mexico. The storm is now about a 480. 80 miles to the southwest of Tampa, and it looks like that is where the storm is heading. Maximum sustained winds at around 165 miles per hour, traveling to the east and northeast at around nine. You can see it's starting to take that northeast movement now, moving farther away from the Yucatan. So on that track here, Category 5 for now over the open waters of the Gulf, and then weakening as it approaches west central Florida. Even though I say weakening, though, still a major and dangerous hurricane as it will be lashing the west central coast just north of Fort Myers between there and Tampa late tomorrow night into early Thursday morning. This is around 1 to 2 a.m. There are going to be thousands, if not millions of power outages, coastal flooding up and down the west central coastline. And then as the storm moves over central Florida, still possibly holding on to Category 3 strength near Orlando. So we're talking lots of power outages over central Florida, and then the storm moves off the east coast as we head to around midday on Thursday. Uh, so it's going to be a quick hit late tomorrow night into early Thursday, moving off the coast by around lunchtime Thursday.